Hi, I'm Joan Badger and today we're going to have a look at the Lesson Activity Toolkit. The Lesson Activity Toolkit can be found over in the gallery. So when we click on that gallery picture you will see that um, there's the Gallery Essentials and right underneath you'll see the Lesson Activity Toolkit. This is slightly different than just the Gallery Essentials. In the Gallery Essentials you'll find uh, images, interactives, um, and notebook files. Under the Gallery Activity Toolkit, and I'm going to click on this arrow so we can see, um, there are folders here that have activities, examples, games, graphics, pages, and tools. We're going to start off just by looking at the examples so that you can see what the potential is here. Um, when we click on examples, they will give us examples of how to use the activities, how to use some of the tools and the pages. Let's start off with the activities. On the left hand side you'll see that there are 23 different activities that they have examples of and for example if we wanted to look at how they would use pairs their example is pretty basic when you're wrong the good thing about the examples is that you can go into edit and you can see that how this has been set up but uh, you can drag in your own pictures, type in your own words, and make this your own. You can also change the number of pairs. So every time that you see uh, an example of an activity, you can either change that one right there, or this one was called pairs. So we know that if we go right into the activities up top and then look for pairs, we'll see that there are six different options and really the only difference between any of these six options are the colors. So let's say for example we would like this one. It's just telling us it's the color in the background. Notice that it's completely blank so we need to go into edit and we would drag in our own pictures and put, type in our own words. Right now it's set for two pair but you can go all the way up to 12 in this case. And once you've finished doing that, you just say OK. So that's basically the Lesson Activity Toolkit is filled with activities. I would take the time to go through those. They're also, they also have things called tools. And I'll give you an example of what the tools are. Now this balloon pop tool is um, this is a page that's been completely done, but the actual tool is just this popping balloon. If we want to go and see what that actual tool is, we would go down to our tools, see that there are 37 interactive multimedia tools here, and there's that balloon pop. Notice that it's just one on its own, and we would go in to edit ourselves. There's a lot of different tools here available. Um, some of the really great ones, I think, are the image dice. Um, when you first bring it out, uh, click on those two arrows and you'll see that it's a blank net of a dice and um, you would just drag in your own pictures. Once you've got that done, click there and then you would roll your dice and your pictures would be there. They have the same thing for dice words, etc. So they have a lot of different tools available so you should just go through and check it out. If you're interested in looking at pages that are already set up, um, all you have to do is click on pages and you'll see that they have created pages for you that you can go ahead and edit. So the Lesson Activity Toolkit is really uh, a great place to go and have a look around. Um, there's some really basic things that you can do there, but with a little creativity and imagination, you can bring some of those things to higher level learning. Thanks.